Yes, Darren Nunes will get the headlines, but in some ways it was a Jurgen Klopp show as well. Um, when you're one 0 down, when your skipper's been sent off, your best players been sent off, when your fullbacks getting absolutely hammered by the winger, you're a goal down and they've hit the post and everything's going against you. And you look out of it and you hold, and that's what he did. He held and he held and he didn't panic and he didn't panic, and he all he wanted to do was get to the last ten fifteen minutes and think. I'm going to have a go then. And, you know, it's not the Liverpool way because usually it's the other way around. The team hold off against them. And he did, and he did. And then he substitutions. And they took over the game. And then he has come on, got his chances, took them brilliantly. But it wasn't just about that. He's got Jota on the pitch. He's got Nunes on the pitch. He's got Salah on the pitch. And Salah's been in clever as well because he's kept his energy back. He's not been chasing fullbacks and all that sort of stuff. He's kept his energy there as well. And that last 10 minutes, it was 1-0. And just when those happened, uh, I was doing the cold comps, I thought, oh, this has changed. And it shouldn't change because they've still got a man less. And the belief in out in Newcastle and suddenly, Liverpool were boarding on rampant at that point. That should not happen with 10 men at the end of a game. And by the time when he scored the second one, it was no longer a surprise. It was the one. It was a classic rope dope, an absolute classic rope dope, and Klopp knew what he was doing. So you're giving Jurgen Klopp a huge amount of credit there for the turnaround. What about Eddie Howe's role in it? Because Newcastle, at the start of that second half, it felt inevitable they were going to get a second. We had Almiron had opportunities. Uh, Allison obviously made a wonder save. They hit the post, and then with 20 minutes to go, he makes changes. So as always, it's Isaac off for Wilson. Gordon, who had absolutely terrorised Trent Alexander-Arnold, he's taken off for Harvey Barnes. Tonali, who had another strong game midfield, is replaced by Longstaff. These feel almost like preordained substitutions, that these are going to happen in every match regardless of what's happening. And I wonder, is that a, is that a real fault of Eddie Howe's, that actually he didn't play the game that was in front of him in terms of the substitutions? Right, a brilliant question, and opposite as well, because when I was doing the commentary, and I just thought, well, you're not going to take off Gordon because you shouldn't because you're, you're playing against Trent Alexander-Arnold who is having a bad day <laughs> against Gordon who's just shredding them time and time again. Given his duties, the fullback wasn't getting any help at all because obviously Salah's not going back to help him because he doesn't do that much. So he's getting shredded and he, he's loving it. And I'm you can't help it. As a former player, you put yourself in that position. And as a winger, I'm thinking... What? You're taking me off? No? <laughs> you, you, you really, it was a real surprise. So it does sound, A, possibly preordained, uh, but B, you know what they're like with the, the medics. They say he's only got 60 minutes. He's only got 65. And they stick by it, which is, the medics say that. That's a guess. That is only a guess. That's that's not science. And when you were they there, don't... Pat, in, in the five, six minutes beforehand, had you... With what you were seeing, noticed any drop off with any of those three players? Tonali, I would to sort of understood slightly. Isaac does tire. Isaac does tire. I, I would say that, but Gordon hadn't, as far as I could see. So that's why I said when that happened, that's the one I don't, I don't like. 